This video is for second grade lesson 30, and I will start off with number one of the section one cold edition. Number one says 131 plus 49. One plus nine is equal to 10, so I will put one up there and zero down here. And then we do one plus three plus four, which is equal to eight. And one just brought down is equal to one. So the answer for number one will be 180. Moving over to the next question, which is number seven. We have 646 plus four. Six plus four is equal to 10. So we'll put one over here and down and zero down there. And then we'll do one plus four, which is five. And 6 brought down will be equal to 6. So the answer for number 7 will be 650. And lastly, we'll be going over number 16, which is the last, sec last number, last question in this section, which is 142 plus 528. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10, so we're going to put 1 up there and 0 down here. And then we'll have to do 1 plus 4 plus 2, and we add all those three numbers, we get 7, and 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. So the answer for number 16 will be 670. Now, I have, I uh, went over addition of three-digit number to one-digit number, three-digit with two-digit, and three-digit with three-digit. Whatever digits you add, you always have to make sure that you add them and line them up by correct places. Going over to next section, it is part of a whole, and we have to shade the parts to match the fraction. Number one says three over six. Yes, it could be written as this two. So the bottom number, which is six, tells how, how the shape, how the circle in this case is divided into when we look at the circle, this circle is divided into six pieces when you count them. And our what we have to do is shade three sections of them. I will shade this much. And this will match with three over six fraction. I will also do number two. Number two says one over four, which could be written as this two. Now, instead of six, now there is four in the bottom, and that shows how how many pieces this shape is divided into, which is four. One, two, three, four. We're going to shade one part of it, just like the up the top number says. So I'm going to shade in this part, this much. And this will be matching the fraction. Moving on to the next section, we have to compare numbers. And I will start by comparing number one. Number one says 63 and 29. We always have to compare the greatest number first and then go down until you get to the least number if all the greater, all the greater numbers are equal to each other. In this case, we see 3 and 2. We are going to compare them. 3 is greater than 2, so we know that 36 is greater than 29. I will also do number 9. Number 9 says 7 minus 2 and then three, 8 minus 3. 7 minus 2, we know that 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. And 8 minus 3 is also equal to 5. So... Because both of them is 5 and 5, we know that 7 minus 2 is equal to 8 minus 3. Lastly, I will be doing number 13. Number 13 says 927 and 929. The greatest number 9 and 9 are equal to each other, and the next greatest number 2 and 2 are also equal the same. So we would have to compare the last number, which is 7 and 9. 
7 is less than 9, so we can say that 927 is less than 929. And this is how you're going to compare numbers. The last section that we have here is word problems, and I will do number 2 and number 5 at the end. Clara ran 800 meters in 3 minutes and 45 seconds on Monday. She ran 8 meters on three mi in 3 minutes and 18 seconds on Tuesday. And the question is, what is the total time Clara ran on Monday and Tuesday? So we all have to combine the two minutes and sections, seconds together to get the total time she ran. We will first begin by adding the seconds together, 45 and 18. 5 plus 8 is 13, so I will put 1 up here and 3 down here. And then, then we would have to do 1 plus 4 plus 1, which is 6. So we have 63 seconds. Now we would have to add the minutes, which is 3 and 3. She ran 3 minutes and 3 minutes. 3 plus 3 is 6. So we know that she ran 6 minutes. Here we have to know one thing, that 60 second is equal to 1 minute. Now, what we have so far is that she ran 6 minutes and 63 seconds. But because 60 second could be written as one minute and this 63 second is adding 60 and 3 we would give it give a minute to 6 minute so 6 minute will turn 7 minute because it is the same as doing 6 plus 1 and left over which is 3 will just become 3 seconds so on Monday and Tuesday combined, Clara ran 7 minutes and 3 seconds. Let's do the last problem that we have, which is number 5. The sides of rectangles are 3 inches, 3 inches, 2 inches, and 3 inches. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? Let's draw the rectangle over here. Rectangle has the same sides and the opposite sides, so this and this are the, have the same length and left and right would have same side in this case so I would do 3 inches 3 inches and 2 inches and 2 inches now we have thought now that we have plugged in all the sides that the question shows we would have to get what the perimeter of the rectangle is. Perimeter is just um, the length of rectangle, like around the rectangle. So we would just have to add all four numbers. 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2. Let's first do 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 is 6 and 2 plus 2 is 4. Now we're going to add these two numbers together, and we will get 10. So we know that the perimeter of the rectangle is 10 inches.